Hello everyone. Let's see if the sound is sound works. So the topic of today's video I'm going to I have been I have not I have not been creating the episodes for the cracking video game password series for a long time and I was planning to make the episode 13. Does this sound uh, can you hear this sound, by the way? Good time to check it. Tell me if you can hear it. So, episode 13. I was planning to make it a live stream a long time ago. Thank you for telling me that it sounds okay. I was planning to make it a live stream and uh, things have happened and time has passed. But now... I thought it would be a good time to make it. And the game I was planning to crack the password is... Uh, let's see if you can actually see this. Now you can see it. So it's going to be Iron, Swar Iron Sword Wizards and Warriors 2. So I don't know how many people of you have played this game Wizards and Warriors 2 in the past. Let's see if I... Can I hear actually the sound? It's rather quiet. Let's see if I can make do something about that. Um, playback. Okay, that should be a little bit better, yeah, but not too loud. So this is. This is one of the games that have quite short passwords, actually. It's like 12 letters and uh, quite a short set of letters here. I think this is... Um, hold on, this is 9, 9 and 8. That's... Uh, did I calculate wrong? Yeah, it's 9 and 8. It's 26 letters, so it's... Yeah, from A to Z, so it actually uses all the letters, but obviously not all of them are going to be meaningful. So let's see how the game actually works. So let's take a sample password of this game. So to clarify, I have never tried hacking the passwords of this game, so now I actually pretty much have to just die here to get the default password. Okay, the game sounds are too loud, so... Is this better? The game sound should be less high volume right now. So what I have to do here pretty much is to die until I get the default password, so I can see how the, how the normal passwords look like in this game. Or rather, the empty password. Can I actually die if I throw a fall of... Yeah, not too easily. Just have to die, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Is there turbo? Hold on, let me check if there's turbo button somewhere. No, 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 that doesn't work. No, hold on, what happened? Okay, that's not too good. I hate the fact that... Oh yeah, the video camera seems to be stopped for some reason. Let's see what I can do about that. If I can do something about that. Change that. Can I? Oh. Okay, now it should work again. So let's make it. Oh, yeah. So the video camera works again. But to go on, I have to die here. So. Does anyone actually know what is the quickest way to die in this game? 
I would suppose the quickest way to die would be to fall from great height. But it doesn't seem to be working like that. I was hoping to use turbo or something here, but... But turbo doesn't seem to be working here. I press tab, but nothing happens. So I'll just wait here. I guess the game will run on the background while I am checking, so... Let's have it on the background and do some research. I think the game sounds are still too high because I can concentrate on my own voice, so let's see. Iron sword passwords. I am not no 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 not maps but surge. I'm not going to just use someone else's research on the passwords, but I'm going to see how what kind of data possibly is there in the passwords so these are some default passwords some passwords here so in the passwords we have a stage we have some equipment here the default password seems to be quite simple which suggests that there isn't very terrible encryption encryption what is happening why is the wizard not why is the guy not dying? Let's try this. Okay, this should work better. Die, please. So, anyway. So, yeah, we have a starting level, we have some equipment, and we have some kind of checksumming, probably, or not checksumming. Okay. Now let's make a save state, just in case. What happens if I don't continue here? If I don't continue, I don't get a password. Too bad. Okay. Hmm. He has three lives, so... Do I have to do this three times? Well, I don't actually need to do that, because I got the information from here. So now the next thing to, would be, I could do it this way, just take these passwords, and maybe these ones, and analyze which kind of letters there are. Because the password alphabet was six, 26 letters, and my guess is that it doesn't use all those 26 passwords there. So uh, 26 letters, I mean, it just uses 16 of them. That is my theory anyway. So let me do that. Actually, I don't need to make a PHP file, just the text file is enough. So append these all to a single text file here, and then just delete all the stuff from there. And uh, Let's delete new lines from that, and then replay, put all the letters on a distinct line. Let's see if that works. No, it doesn't, because I made a typo somewhere. Where, actually, because I should have done that. Okay. Okay, so we have a... Um, in the password we have these letters which I used. And these are... how many are there? There are 16, just, I, uh, just as I guessed. This is 16 here, so there are 16 different letters. When I make those cracking password videos, I use actually OpenOffice. The videos are basically OpenOffice slides. Like uh, like PowerPoint, but just a free tool. So I'm going to use my Swords and Serpents slide here as a background. And just edit it a little bit. Wizards and Warriors 2. I'll worry about the colors later. But yeah, so we have 16 different, different letters here. So just that much is enough. And the letters are... Let's see if I can sort those. Hmm. Sort them. 
So basically, this looks very much like uh, in Solar Jetman, all the consonant sprays basically. So B, D, F, G, H, J, K, and L, M, N, P, Q, R, S. Basically, something is missing there. So let's see. Uh, B, D, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, N, P, Q, R, was it? N, P, Q, R, and T, W, X, Z. T, W, X, and Z. Was it correct now? J, K, L, M. No, it wasn't because something was there that shouldn't be. F is not supposed to be there. Was it this? Kind of difficult to swap between those two windows here. So yeah, that should be the alphabet that is used in this game. So immediately I could use the same mechanism that I used for... Let's see if I can find the window. It should be... Maybe... No. My hotkeys are failing me. So... Okay, I can discard that because I have it over there, so... Can I use this tool? Clever and uh, Witch War 2. Actually, that's not the tool that I want. I want to check this. So, can I find BDG? No, I can't. So, this is just a hex editor here. Um, Actually, it's not even a hex editor, it's just Joe, the same editor that I use always, but I'm using... Um, okay, hold on. So yeah, hex editor and... Uh, if someone wants to be a moderator, then they're who has a name that I can re recognize. Also English only, so if you write in Russian I'm just going to delete your messages. So anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, maybe there are moderators that aren't being needed there, so if someone wants to volunteer, please be a reputable person and I could check and think about that. So what I was actually doing, I was going to take a little look inside the game ROM to see if I can find the view of of BDGH, these letters here, if I can find them inside, inside the game ROM. Mm. No, 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 these are going a little too quickly. I'm having trouble doing... Remove moderator, no. So, Ricard can't moderate, let's see, who else? Um. So yeah, what I was doing here, I was trying to find those letters, so they are probably offsetted somehow, so let's work on the assumption that A is like 0 or 1. Let's work by one, 0 first of all. Actually, I don't need to assume because I can check just uh, these tables here. Assuming the game, yeah, it doesn't actually work because the game uses VRAM, not VROM, so that's a no-go. Can I find the translation somewhere? Those are graphics, so that's no-go. Of, 
course, if I could find the font there, that would be helpful, but no. That may be some kind of data. I'm looking at these patterns over here to recognize something. And uh, see. that kind of looks like text, but no. Yeah. Do I have a search tool in this program? I actually don't. Okay, I had another tool actually, which I used in the Gremlins video. How does it work and where is it? I think it was called Multigrep. Oh yeah, so it's actually in this path. How does it work? It uses The game ROM comes in STD in, and uh, the parameter is going to be BDGH, JKLM. So let's see if I can find it there. Okay, so we found it in one position here. So it's in position that much. which is in hexadecimal uh, that much. So let's see if I can find it in the viewer. 1FB6A. 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 1FB6A is... 1FB... It's quite close to the end, so let's see. I didn't actually check the offset. What was the character set offset? The character set offset was um, this much. Okay, so I actually needed to add, I think. It should be like C and that. Oh. Okay, that wasn't what I was looking for, because this is obviously just a layout for the screen that is going to render, so this is not a lookup table. Okay. Just checking. Never mind that. Okay. The third approach that I usually... Yeah, I actually use PHP quite often on the command line. It's it's not a bad tool. So, the third option that I have actually used for the majority of those cracking video game passwords videos, the operating system is Linux by the way, is uh, use a disassembler. I have created this disassembler called... Uh, called Nescom Freeness Assembler. And uh, even though the package is uh, assembler and a linker and tools like that, it actually contains a disassembler that works really well. That I don't really advertise that much because it's rather complicated to use. But if I feed it the Wizards and Warriors 2 Nest ROM here, I get a pretty nice listing. So this, assuming everything works right, which it doesn't necessarily do, because this game uses Mapper 7, well that should work. But let's see. It always involves some kind of a manual processing, so I have to fill some pointer offsets myself. So let's use that Swords and Serpents. ROM as a model here. So what was the address for that? It was 3. So it should be... 
it starts from there and uh, NMI points to DD and uh, reset this uh, that much and IRQ is DA to F. Let's try that. Did I do the parameters in the wrong, right order? I used a multi grep tool because the character offset may be changed. Hold on, let me let me illustrate and explain what I mean by that. Normally in ASCII, which is the basis for basically every character set that, that, that is used in PCs, the characters work like this. You may have seen this table somewhere. Basically, uh, characters, all characters have some kind of number that corresponds to them. For example, A is always 65 or in hexadecimal it's 41 and B and so on come after that and P is uh, 81, uh, I mean 80 and so on. But in video games the font doesn't that necessarily go that way. The characters can be anywhere. For example, A could be like 160 or it could be 240 or it could be zero or anything and uh, if you just use the grep tool it assumes that when you type a it really means this number 65 here but uh, when you are looking inside the game roms for NES and so on that assumption doesn't necessarily hold so you need a tool that can actually take care of uh, characters it's that are shifted and offset it so that's what my multi grep tool does and I actually used it in let's see if I can find it uh, gremlins biscuit yeah this video gremlins 2 video I used it here so for the first time and actually I I think I created it for this video. No, I didn't. But I used it here. So, if you want to know more, check that video. But anyway, what I was doing here was disassembly. So, I'm going to spend some time researching how this ROM Wizards Warriors 2 works. Actually, it is 65 because 64 is this at symbol. 65 is A. So, let's see if I can find anything relevant here. This may take some time. Actually, one thing that would expedite it a little bit is to look up some prior research because well I did check a little bit ahead and I, I know that people have been hacking Wizards and Warriors 2 before and in romhacking.net not this game but let's see if I can find it by Iron Sword Iron Sword romhacking.net Hmm. Let's use that. They're the site directly, so find. Because there should be a document. Okay, that doesn't help because it takes me back to Google Games. Find. Hope this doesn't take me to Google. No, it doesn't. Okay, so there actually is not. So there is no documentation about this game, so that actually was a dead end. RAM map. So let's see again. Final Fantasy Secret of Evermore? No. Maybe no one actually has studied this game. Wizards and Warriors to RAM map. 
Nope. So that is a no-go. So I just have to, have to analyze it myself. Can I actually find... A, actually this game probably doesn't use E or... Because the encryption was so simple, so it probably doesn't use E or... Okay, so I may have to find uh, some... Uh, something that actually changes mappings here. So... Mm -hmm. Okay, so this should actually follow it, but it doesn't. So I have to just check. Um, does that work? Uh, well, I do have a favorite programming language, and if you have watched my videos. You probably know already what that language might be. And hint, it is not assembler. Okay, so this is basically the reset code here. It does something with the sound registers here. It blanks all them out. So this is the reset code. That looks like code, so I'm going to also enable that. At this point it's going to take a long time unless I get some kind of tool which with, with which to actually investigate the RAM contents here. And that would be easier to do in Windows than in Linux because these... To be honest, these Linux NES emulators are crap. So I may actually need to do some of that in Windows, which really sucks because I have all my streaming things set up here in Linux, so... <sighs> hmm. Hold on, I have to think. Think a little bit. Because I need some kind of tools to see which which memory regions are being accessed when I do things. I don't think Medrafen... Does it support actually... Nesromans? It actually does. I am surprised. But I'm not seeing any kind of graphical user interface there. I mean, menus and such things. Hold on. No. F1. F1 does something, but I don't see anything in debugging related here. There is one more possibility, because just a couple of months ago I actually tested out wine and I was actually surprised, really surprised, how well it actually works nowadays. So I may be able to use wine in Linux to basic mess. I don't have it here, so let's see. Let's download that. Windows 32 binary. 
direct link and download please extract that and see whether it works wine yeah this could work let's try that again so does it not work i think it might oh yeah so let's just set my settings here so i can actually do something useful p a d close allow that change video settings resize this a little bit like that much and uh, change hotkeys because that hotkey is doing things that I don't want it to do. That should be that. And save state. Save state. Yes. Okay. And now I should be able to make some tracking. We have a login. Also, in addition to that login, this that's kind of loud actually. Hold on. Okay, that should be better. So there's one more thing I want to do. That is actually what I was looking for before. This is my password alphabet here, or maybe this one, I don't know which one. So yeah, that was what I was trying to do there. So when I pressed... When I pressed start... Why is my camera window... Looking all kind of wonky. Okay, now it looks better. Um, I was checking the those are the controllers so I may need two windows here so that one is for my disassembly here and this one is okay so do I have that code already Do I have it? No, I don't. So let's see. I kind of actually hate these, these, these. Um, Mapper Seven games because because um, they are so difficult to trace because all the pages here are the same size and they replace the entire ROM so when you have code like this the next instruction is actually not loaded from here but it is loaded from a totally different page so it actually continues from like this page that is in the beginning of the file from that same address and that makes the code quite difficult to follow not sure if you c if you can follow what I'm trying to say here, but yeah. Hmm. Hold on. Snap. Yeah, that is kind of the problem with the 
does anything happen when I save that? And that is kind of the problem when you ask people to volunteer for a moderation ship because yeah something like that can happen so yeah Okay, so what I was actually doing here, let's shut that down and uh, yeah, that should work. So I'm looking for that code, which should be somewhere. I'm hoping it's actually in the first page here. So it should be in uh, here. Oh yes, that does look promising. So, so that would be two o two one, and that would be update controllers. I think so. so let's try that once more again. Yeah, no, YouTube chat is not as good tool as it should be and could be. FFDD. Yeah. So, what I am doing here is tracing the Actually, that doesn't work. Why does that not work here? No, because it should be here. And it jumps to a totally different address. So that should be 3863. Um, it is one of the NMI handlers. And we're zero, so it goes from here, and somehow it reads the controllers at some point. Does it? Yes, it should. Yeah, that looks okay, and that is perfectly okay. So, where does it actually save the controller data? Controller data is saved into possibly these two addresses five and six. Let's see. No, it actually changes from uh, controllers one. I think these four addresses are reserved for controllers. You stream, use Twitch instead of YouTube. Well, that could work a little bit better, but I was thinking that programming content is better suited for for uh, <laughs> YouTube. So over there, it's checking. Actually, I should probably use check where this RAM address is being read from. So which one of these is it actually checking? Not that one, not that one, not that one. Let me see that one again. So one of these is being checked from somewhere. So that is one interesting looking okay that one looks suspiciously like 
updating random seed, so I'm just going to mark them that up. So what it does here is rolling variables, mixing in of the controller data, mixing in something else. And this looks so much like random data, so that is probably random seed. Random seed. And uh, the code that does that is update randomness or something like that. 9e, so that's no. Update random seed, probably. Update random. Oh, yes. Oh, no, that's actually a wrong page. No, that's not where it is. It is in another bank. Which bank is it? Let's find it. Because it should begin with that kind of instruction. So let's find it. Is it this bank? Six, seven, eight, A, B, C, D, E, F. No, it's not this one. Oh, yes, it is actually. So it should be there. Bank one. Update random seed. Oh, yes. So that works. That is done. But I was actually checking where it loads the controller data. This is one of the possible places. It is doing something here to check the controllers. Hmm. It would be a little bit easier if I had some RAM addresses to go by here. Actually, in that Windows tool, let me check here. If I put it on foreground and use this tool, I should be able to see the cursor position here somewhere. When I move this cursor here, I should be seeing a That is changing, but that is a pixel position. So that might not be it yet. That is also changing in sync with that. And this is a Y coordinate, so. And this is also a Y coordinate. And this is that cursor over there, which is blinking, I can see that whenever it blinks, this RAM address is changing. But even that is not what I'm looking for. Apologies if this text is too small for you to read, because there's hardly anything I can do to help that. But what I am looking here is any RAM address that changes by one when I do this. There's something that changes here, but that is just a sprite data, I think. So let's see anything there. These all the change, but these could be sprite data. So no, it has to be one of these. So this indicates which buttons I have pressed, and this was the current bait button status, okay. So current buttons. Player one current buttons. And uh, the next one seems to be player one new buttons. I don't know about the others, they are probably for player two. Um, cheat engine is 
quite for something else. It's not. It is for a totally different but purpose. But um, okay, so that either one of these is the cursor position for the password letter. If I actually type this here. Where does it put the letters? Where does it put them? Let me reset that. Which button resets the game? Hold on, I somehow made it slower. Ah. So, do that again. It probably didn't save any of my settings. And that's even worse. I don't think it saved any of my settings. Let me see, I have to do that again. That is done. And the two, uh, the hotkeys, hotkeys, hotkeys. Oh yeah, I didn't save any of them. Hmm. Stupid programs. Video. Four. Four and save setting, save config file. Okay, now make a save state so that when I backtrack I can more easily follow what is being done there. Okay. E F G H A and make save number two and compare these two. I see some changes here. What else is changing? This area is changing a lot, but this is highly irrelevant because this is just a stack. It's probably irrelevant. Sorry about the sounds here, but I'm comparing these two. Okay, I found it. It's here. So A. It probably says the length of the passwords here. So let me see. If I add one more letter, this should change to B. And yes, it did. Okay, so let's see. So it begins from one. F E D one F one D password link and the password buffer password letter. Let's do just that. The point of what I'm doing here is to locate all the code that deals with the password, and once I have the once I have located the pass uh, the code that deals with uh, with uh, the passwords, I can begin to understand it. But first, I needed to locate it. So, what is the longest possible password? It is B and C. Okay, so it's uh, let me see. Oh yeah, that should be as much as it, as it is. Okay, can I find any code that uses this array? No, I can't. Can I find any code that uses that array in the listing that I accumulated earlier? Can I find it? Oh yes, I can. In here it is doing something. It is uh, 
clearing the password buffer. Okay, so this code is clearing the password buffer. So e22a from e22a clear password buffer. Let's see if I can find the code. Should be e22 it should be exactly here. Okay, so the function begins from, uh, let's see, should be in that, and uh, let's see what my code finds, password letter, I should be able to find more code here. Over here it uploads the password into the PPU, the graphics chip. Over here it clears the buffer. I'm still still missing something, so password length. I'm loading it. Okay. So Okay, here it checks if the password length is 12 letters. It continues from here. Whatever happens here. So probably this function over here, it validates the password. So we are getting closer. So 5567 probably validate password. Probably validate password. didn't find that. Let me see at that again. Why did it not? No, because this should be certainly code and not RAM. Let's try that again. Validate password. Validate password. Okay, it does something and then it does something. Okay, what is the first something? function it's called from quite many places and it seems to clear rendering hide screen let's assume it hides the screen yes animo bunny i just noticed that myself about the computer name hurry you just came to me. I didn't know what it means, but I it just came to me, so I there's no reason further than that. So 7FCO that probably does something. Actually I know what's it what is going here. Probably validate. I think it has done a decision at that point. So, nag about invalid password. I think that's how it goes. Plus is over here. Let's see. I can actually change check that really easy. So disable that and put the track ah, put that can I pause this? I can and then put the tracing on PVD start logging and then unpause and okay that's not what I wanted to do Let's try that again. Start logging again. So unpause, add one letter, add another letter, and get this error message. So if we find this place, we know we have found the password validation because to print that 
message it actually. Hold on, why can I not focus that screen? Okay. So it was which address it was? It was this one, I think. No, it wasn't. Password length is. Hold on. Password length is over there. CLC ADC, no. Compare. It is there. That's where it checks. And if it differs. No. Let's find that compared to 12 instead. Linux distribution I'm using is Debian. So compared to 12. This is actually the wrong log. PVD. Let's try that again. So A, B, and C. That's one. And actually, which one is this? <laughs> Sorry about that. I need to do that again because I think the log may actually contain both instances and it should not. So let's add, pause this, start logging, and pause, and get this, and stop logging, and see the log again. So compared to 12, it is here. So rightly here it activates password checking. And uh, hmm, what is this delay here for? So anyway, it is in uh, that's in another bank. Hmm. Well, HTML is not Turing complete, I think. So that bank it could be here. Oh yes, it could be here. So it's in probably in bank one. So it's check password length. Let's go from here there. Check password length. No, it's the wrong bank. Hmm. Which bank it is actually? Check password length. Not that bank. Check password password length. Not that bank either. Not there. Um. This is a guessing game, which is nasty with this ba mapper, but I don't see a way around that. Let me do that. Check password length. Okay, here we go. So it's in bank zero. So over here it does something. This look like it could be doing something with uh, it puts that there and uh, I'm going to presume it prints some message okay and this number here could be the password validation result. So let's see. 633. Something related to password validation. Something related to password validation. 
Hello, home team. So it is loading that f in all kinds of places, but I want to see what it, where it actually sets that value. So let me see. It loads it and it checks it. That is not very helpful. Let me see that. Clearing. Clearing. Okay, so that is probably then not related to password validation, but maybe to game mode. Somewhere related to game mode. So I was on the wrong track there. So that's what I have already checked. But this here. Oh yeah, I know now. If I do this but put there. If I create a blank password, this I know this matches. So I'm going to try this password and do another log. So valid, valid log and uh, unpause and frame advance. Oh, how come? Wasn't this supposed to be valid? Do I misremember it? Oh, it was not B, it was Q. Okay, so let's see that again. Can I unpause this please? Yes. So do that again. So it's Q. And then K, 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 K. And save there. Pause. Start logging. Probably need to delete that first. Start logging and unpause. And I got a valid password. Okay, so now let's see how these two differ. So I got a log here from doing an invalid password and a log here for doing a valid password. So let's see how those two differ. Um, the place was here. So both of them go here. These parts are equal. Hold on. Can I do a diff? Let's see about diff. This may not be as useful as I hoped, but let's see in any case. Hmm. They are not exactly equal because they do things like music code checking there, but let's see if the different parts Hold on, which one should I check? It should be probably address this one. Okay, that one doesn't check it. And this one does. Okay, this is hardly useful. Okay, but that seems to differ here. In one of these this is minus one and one of them it is zero. Let me work on a hypothesis here. If I change the game and force that RAM address to be always not there, can I find a hex view like here? 633. If I change it like this, does it work? No. 
No, because the game changed it back. So that didn't work. I cannot do in it in this editor, so I have to enter a cheat code. Hmm. Cheat. Probably here. Add uh, address. Let's see. And force it to that. So let's see. Oh yes. So that is actually password validation related. Actually, it may not necessarily be password validation related because. Hold on, let me see if I do this. Uh, yeah, it always loads the same set. Yeah. Still doesn't probably. Yeah. Well, that may be the result of the password validation, but. It doesn't force the, uh, the calculation in a different way. So let's see where the variable is changed. In my... In the valid password... In here it sets password is valid. Uh, right here it sets the flag where it says password is valid. Alright, I think we are getting somewhere. So this address FB2A FB2A can't find it. B2A FB2 2A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, no it's not there. I find it in another bank. It's not there. Is it in, actually is it in the first bank? No, no, no. Possibly here. It looks like that. So it's in bank four, I think. So that should be. Hold on. Like this. Seven one A F B two A. Let's try that. Password accepted. No, that didn't work. Okay. Oh I have a syntax error there. Certainly code. Let's try that again. Mm. Passport accepted. No, not there. Try again. No, not there. Not there. Can I find it? That was accepted. No, not there. So there. Not there. Which bank is it? Not there. I hate this guessing game. Not there. Why cannot can I not find it? What did, I, what did I not check before? It's not there. Oh yeah, thank you Animo. Yeah, that would explain it. So... So let me see that again. Uh, and I should probably check what I type actually. So 
him up there. Oh yes, now it is found. So let's see where the function begins. FBOC it begins FBOC Okay. So FBO5 is the code where it's actually well, he did password. All right. What does it do there? What? Seriously? Does it actually use a lookup table here? It actually uses a lookup table here. FB5A. So it checks whether the password letter is in valid set. Certainly data. Valid password letters. So now I can actually use that viewer because now I know where the letters are. Which were two ness. Because now I know where they are. So that should be. 1FB5A. 1FB5A. Actually, wasn't I there before? 1FB5A. So, okay. And uh, hmm. <laughs> How does it work? Begins with two. One well, yeah, no, I'm not in the right place. One FB five A. So it should be here. And bingo! There we have the character set. The character set is here. And. Uh, password valid password letters so it actually certainly code uh, translate password letter so this letter actually was correct so what it does there is I think it is calculating a checksum here. So let's see. TXA. Oh, what is happening here? Uh, uh, what is happening here? What is this table? So even this is not... Um, even this is not the password extraction, but this is the password uh, checksum or something like that. So. What is happening here? Hold on, let me make a simulation here. Or at least pseudocode. So if the password is like this on let's use that one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the table is that um, P D G H J K L M N P Q R actually 
mpqr mpqr twxc so for n is equal to I'm just writing in the pseudocode here what the game is actually doing here, so I can better understand it. So it translates the letter and actually... How does it do that? It checks BPL. Okay, so it returns in A the translated character, so that's simple enough. Yes. So, as they are position table test, just making sure that I'm getting this right. TMP, PAP, PHP. Oh, yes, that is doing absolutely right. So that's that. And then. And this should actually be X, just for compatibility here. So that's what it does so far. And now I'm here. So temp A is X. And Y is uh, that much. And if If x is odd, then happens something, else happens something else. Let's see. So in the else branch happens a is multiplied by 16. And in this branch Hold on. Hold on, what is y? Oh yeah, okay, I, now I see what it's doing here. So it is actually, oh yeah, it's converting two by two 16-bit units into uh, bytes. So it's actually making it to 16 by, uh, no, I mean six bytes into this array. So, okay, we are clear so far, so. Oh yeah, so the any file, so that is actually not validation of password, but validation of password, uh, convert password into bytes. And the password letters which were in this array are being converted into byte 0, byte 2, into this array. And that is the first step. That is the first step. So when it exists, it exits this routine, what happens next? The status of uh, this, uh, where is it? This RAM address here indicates whether there was some kind of problem with uh, with a uh, with a password alphabet. No, six six five zero two cannot do multiple bit shifts in one operation. So you pretty much have to do multiple of them in a row. So that's a limitation there. Actually, the same limitation was in the original 8088 processor, except it could use a register here, but that was pretty much how it worked. So anyway, where, where is it? Where is this function called? It is called from over there. And uh, what happens when this function returns? So fp2f 
after this function returns, something happens. It returns. Let me see. Um, yeah, this was the failing branch, but the successful branch is here. So FBOC is where it actually No, 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 not, not there. Can I find it? In here? Oh, yes. And after this, we go here. And what happens here is something f9 fe I'm going by the presumption that it is f9 fe decode password bytes let's assume it is over there decode password bytes oh, of course yes so, one FBAO, what it does is byte 0 is XOR with uh, byte 5, byte 3 is XOR with byte 5. Oh, byte 5 becomes the XOR of every other byte and uh, after that comes the XORing with the table. It XORs Byte one XOR that much one two three four CBFA using that table. So it uses that table to actually I could probably give that table a nice name. Password XOR table. These are the operations it does, and after that, actually I should probably make that a nice comment, so that should be in this goes over there, and then and then. I'm making notes here for myself to understand what the go code does. Let's see if, I, if my comments work. My comments... Oh yes, they seem to work. So... And now... The next step is... Um, if... Byte 4 XOR byte 0 XOR byte 1 is greater than, than 62. Really? 62, yes. Then I presume that says that password is invalid. Yes, yes. 
reject password. Okay. Then. Wow. This is way more complicated than I thought. This is way more complicated than thought than I thought. So at that point Let me see what happens there. This table What? 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 That cannot be right. Are you reading the same thing I'm reading here? It actually uses its own code, program code here as data, and encrypts the password using its own program code. That's the first time I ever I see someone, some game doing that. No, I'm not misreading the address, so... That's mental. Wow. Okay, so the... We have to use a table here. Well, we used a table here, so... Might as well use another one. How many bytes do I need here? It uses... Um, so the number is maximum, maximally... It's in... In that range. And then... I need a table starting from here that is 62 bytes long. By the way, this is probably also code, is it? Can it be? Okay, probably it, that might not be actually code, but yeah, that is quite something. Where was it? So it uses that. Actually not even in that range because it doubles the value so it is... <sighs> fun! Come on! First it uses the function as table of bytes, and then it jumps to that function. Thank you, Metal Demon. So, I'm going to need a table. Let's see. How should I document that? And I thought this, this is going to be a simple game because it uses such a short password with just four, four bit in digits here. This is crazy. So, byte 2 is XORed with a crazy table 8 times 2. And then byte 3 gets the same treatment. And then what does that function actually do? So that, that function actually does is uh, um, uh, 
it returns byte 0, XOR byte 1, XOR byte 2, XOR byte 0, XOR byte ba 1, XOR byte Actually, it does the same byte here twice, so that... I think they made a mistake here. They should read here, like this. They made a mistake. They do this twice in a row, so it actually does nothing. So, that at, le at least something. So, that's what it actually does here. And... That's basically what happens here. Can you confirm? So it XORs this byte and this byte together. This is totally irrelevant. So this XOR this. These don't do anything. And then take the low high 4 bits and XOR them with the low bits from here. Actually this should probably be byte 2, not byte 4. But yeah, they made a mistake here. <sighs> no, I'm not using Tmux here, I'm just using Joe, which supports spl split screening. Yeah, no, no, no non English chats here. So. Crazy checksum function. And where it is called is um, crazy. <laughs> Seriously. So, reject password if uh, crazy checksum function XOR One would think that that would be quite enough checksumming already. But all of that is just validation. Okay, now we are probably getting into actual data. Yes, we are actually getting into data. So... Um, so at this point it saves into this variable, whatever it is, I'm going to guess it is the level number, I don't know. It's going to be the... Um, left, left, left. So it is the high three bits. Is it? I know it. Let me check. So it's a C C D D five four three two one zero. Oh. So it rolls rolls it once, it gets this. Rolls it twice, gets this. Rolls it three times, it gets it. Okay, so it's byte three, and then at that point it is. I may actually some point make a video about why I use Joe and which editors I have used so far. Maybe at some point I have actually told the story somewhere, but I can't remember, so maybe I make a video about that. But let's just shortly say that I use Joe because I'm pretty used to it. So that variable is going to be...
two bits from there. And then, wow, what is that? Mm. Uh, well, we Dominic, hacking with CMD implies running Windows, and I I don't really do Windows, so nope. Actually, nope, I cannot. Um, so, remove that part. Check out what does this function do. So that function does... Oh. Oh. What does it do? I see comparisons with 9. Nine. Something related to something. Oh. oh yeah, it is incrementing a counter here, and the counter is BCD format. Yeah. Some kind of counter, okay. So if byte two or is something else then you know Wait what? Are you serious? It actually runs this heavy, really heavy function in a loop here. Okay, so... Okay, I see that. That is all that I needed to comment here. So, okay. And then at the next part... One... F over there, this variable equals byte 2 as before, and then here this variable in contains This byte like so, and then move on. The the keyboard I use is a Fujitsu Siemens KBPCSX. S slash fin. Hmm. I should actually put some game music on the background. Because I happen to like this song. So byte one bits over there, and then rotate to the right. So it is rotate to the right. And then seven F. Well, this is chip tune, all right. So rotate even more, and then that point is rotate by six. It 
like so. Okay, and then... I didn't know what any of these variables here are, but I'm guessing we will find them later. The checksum... Actually, it seems to check pretty much everything. Well, we, I will analyze the checksum later in more detail, but for now... This is one bit from there. That variable is... Over here. Oh. So A4 and into that it puts that but store. Then, well, it does something weird again. What does that function do? Oh yeah, it validates. Okay, yeah, sure. So that would be five. Yeah, sure. And uh, after that, what happens now? Does some validation there? Hmm. <coughs> I think it is done over there. Okay, so that's as, as much as I needed to check for now. I have not done Rust any more than I did in my Solar Jetman video. So these are the variables that it extracts from there. I can probably sort this out. Let's see. Can I sort like this? Oh yes, I can. So this is the list of addresses here. Alright, now about the checksums. <clears throat> I need to make a little test here. The best way to test this would be to implement a program that pretty much replicates this action here. So, bytes. Where is it all? Oh yeah, you are right about that. The wrong address there, it is, should be... That one is correct, so... So it should be... Yes, yes. Now it is correct. Thank you for correction, Gabor Zavoski. So bytes equals, actually maybe I do nibbles first, 
So there's 12 nibbles. Test this password. Like so. And then convert it in, into nibble. So that should be bytes n is Hold on, how does it actually do that? Into bytes. So it takes the first one is goes into upper and the second one goes to lower. Okay. Okay, and now it's in the bytes, and then replicate all this madness. I know there was the, there was a difference between the LSR and ROAR operations here, but I did calculate those. There was wherever it did matter, I did take care of the carry flag there. So let's see. Hmm. What would be the easiest way to do this? Let's try it just like this. Really? Oh yeah, after it has done this it discards by 5 and then Seriously, just do that. Uh, let me see that. Oh yeah, I discard by five. So, two, three, and four. And then I may need to do those crazy tables by. Hmm. So, that crazy table is there. Table zero is. I mean, try to do this by. Can I do unpacking PHP by converting a string into bytes? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. First table was over here. Did it work? Is it correct? It is actually correct. First try. I'm happy of myself here. And the crazy section function is in uh, this address, fb6a, and it's like this much long. But 5 is that, and then Bytes are being XORed with first table. Now we are here. I 
I have played Battle of Olympus and I have actually studied its passwords also, and it may be a subject to a future episode of this series, but I have a uh, I haven't really so much researched that. Animo Wani, what do you mean? I am actually aware that it actually uses 6B here, so it's just one byte offset there. But that doesn't make a difference. This is multiplied by 2 here and that is used as offset. But it doesn't change the fact that it's actually reading this function here. So in one of those instructions it uses these bytes here. And in the other one it uses these bytes here. And uh, this one. I may have misclicked something there, but anyway, it still uses that code there. So it doesn't change, change the fact. Let's check so far. Okay, I have an error here. Bytes table. Wait. How did it actually work? Oh, it's offset it by one, okay. So, so far so good. So this is not greater than 62, so we are on the right track. And then, hold on, yeah. Crazy table is this, plus, Oh yeah, but this one should be plus plus one, so you are right about that, at least there. So, and bytes three is uh, like so. And crazy is bytes zero, xor, bytes one, xor. Bytes two, XOR, bytes zero, XOR, bytes one, shift down by four, and uh, take the low four bits. Crazy, it is that much, and uh, by three low is. Crazy and bytes three low bits. Are we correct? Yes, these two match. We are still correct. Now extract data. So values are hello Sully Rocks. Values are bytes two over there. Zero, 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 the one, one, three, one, three, one, one, two, oh, and that's it. So five, one, three, six, six, four, four, two, oh, six, oh, and uh, that is seven, and that is one. If and that is, uh, let's do that again, just in case. Okay. So these are the values that it extracts from the, from the blank password. 
which is quite surprising actually. Are these correct? Hmm. Let's see whether they are correct. Take that out and then trace. Wait, what? So this is actually. I was thinking the game was glitching there for a moment, but let me see what is that pa passport actually doing. So, okay, so this wasn't some kind of default and blank password. This is actually something meaningful. So, 10 keys. Do you have 10 somewhere? No, I don't have 10 anymore. Anywhere. Do you have 10 here? Yes, I do have 10 here. Okay, score is 440. Do you have a 440 anywhere? No, I don't. But I just remember I forgot to do some step here. So there's one one thing that I forgot to do. Do this. The last one is that much. Okay, so that is the key counter. Number of keys. Three lives. Which one of these is three? There's at least this is three and this is three. Hmm. Did I kill something? Yes, I did kill something. Okay, that clarifies it. Hmm. Ninth area. First, second, third. Max lives three. Hmm. Air stage. Begin with all armor. So I have anyway. In any case, I have a mechanism here to decode a password. Now I just need to find out what each of these variables here mean. And then when I have done that, I need to find a way to encode those passwords because this encryption here is so complicated. And really that crazy table over there, it's just something from another planet. I've never seen some code use that kind of thing. That's something that I would maybe think of, but I would never have guessed that there's some uh, that kind of thing in production code. So, max keys 15. Let's try that one which has 15 keys. Okay, maybe this one. So the code is this, do the verifications, this should match, yes, 15 keys and max pretty much. Okay, so let's do that Q thing again. So one of these is lives, is it always lives or? Or maybe that one is. So I, either one of those is lives. Let's see if I can find anything to differentiate between those two conditions. Let's try this. No, 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 no. This password. No, there's too many things that are three. Hmm. 
Where do I actually see how many life do I have? Is there any way to see it? What happens if I pause? I have these here. Oh! You get the secret code but like this. So... Well, I actually got a valid password by chance. No, I got a valid password because... Because, because, because I have a cheat here activated, so I have to delete that. But hold on, let me see about that if I pause and take this password and see what does that do. TRO ZPB DDZK Okay, so the first one is lives. Because I start with three lives, is it? Okay, so these are lives. Okay, thank you, Animo. I don't have any spells. Hmm, where is it zero? Where well, pretty much everything is zero. So this is three. What is that for? What could it be? I don't have anything interesting here, so that's not a telling thing. Does that actually change my password? No, it doesn't. If I get a key here, I get a different password. Oh yes, I do. But keys are now a mystery, not a mystery. So... This is unknown. And also... What is... Besides the lives, what else is 3 when I start the game? Can anyone tell me? Those are not saved in the password. No, they are not. And money is not saved in the password as well. This game is this one. Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors 2. Three attempts. Is it uh, three attempts the same thing as lives? No? Is it? Let's see. If I consume one of those, what happens? Oh, I just lost a life there, so let me see. If I use this password now, this bit here, BDD, and see how that works. So I have lost lives, but this is still three. So let's kill the guy again. So game over. Now check if it changed. It did actually did change. Because my life is again let's see and Z P B and Z. So what changed? Hold on. Life's changed, but this didn't change, so that is not continuous. Pointy shield. 
Do I have some kind of shield? So that is actually saved. I should probably put the RAM addresses here, so that makes things possibly a little bit easier than to than to check through the passwords every time. So this is that I know the lives now and I know the keys also. But RAM addresses extra lives. So lives. And then Seven, six, eight, six, nine, EF, those. And uh, there, and keys. So those are the RAM addresses. If it is the level I am on, then uh, why would it begin from the 3? Hello Malteser, what I'm doing here is trying to discover how the passwords in Iron Sword work. So let's begin from here again. Hmm. 3 is attack. Could it be? Well, I took the RAM addresses anyway, so let's see if I can find anything that changes there. I don't need cheats anymore, so it is like there. So those are the addresses. If I can find anything that changes them. Over here I get FF for this one. Let's see if I change it. Oh yeah, that is my weapon. That is clearly my weapon. Look at that. Suddenly I have a thing here. Even though I was inside a store, that didn't seem to matter. So this is uh, that address. Oh yes. So that is a weapon. And there are a couple of different weapons. So. Six is the last weapon possible. So that should be a pretty big sword. And if I put a th there are seven, the game should probably crash. Or do something unexpected. Oh yeah, the game crashes. So I am on the right track. So this is weapon. Then 68 is Oh yeah, the game is pretty confused now. So 68 is uh, over here. If I put myself a nice little shield. Nice. Am I Imagining it, or did it also change my s jumping power? Let me see. If I change that again... No, I'm just imagining it. But yeah, that seems to be... Maybe not the shield, but my... What's it, what is that called? The... the, the what is harness in English? The metal suit. I can't find the word right now. For the lack of better word. So 69 is... Uh, let's see about that. 69 is... Uh, F-E-D-C-B-A-9. So that is actually my shield. 
shield. Armor, of course, yes. Armor and shield. What is EF? Let's see about EF. EF is... Uh, I don't know. Oh. What is happening there? Do I see any changes there? I don't know. Uh, I'm not seeing any changes there. Could it be a difficult level? EF, if I put there 7F. Oh, I'm floating now. I got this somehow. I don't have any spells, but oh. I'm not quite sure what's happening there. Okay, so in conclusion, I couldn't find what that variable does. And that's not for sure. Did it change the boss or something like that? I don't know why it got my hero floating there. Now that is unknown what that is for. Still unknown. How about these? So that is in this region here. So let's see. Oh yeah, that's my list of spells. Spells or something like that. Do I get the same multiple times if I... No, I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand. Or maybe it's actually a level and not... It's just a list of... Oh. Let me see. If I put one, two, three, four, five, and six, and try this now. Oh yeah, yes, I get six things here. And if I use this once, I still have it. Can I use it again? One. And once more, one. Oh yeah, I lost it. So it's a number of that item. So number of item one, and that is two, three, four, five, six. And uh, that one is whatever that is. I don't know what that is. 
Hmm. Are there other items that I could possibly have? Okay, that was kind of unexpected. So I'm going to presume that is some kind of item as well. But I don't know what this is. The editor I'm using here is Joe. Joe's own editor. See the help page now? Yeah, oh well, it's show anyway. So that is decoding. Now to simplify this encryption here, because this is this is crazy. This is nothing nothing short of crazy. So I should be able to simplify this. So I get that is actually irrelevant. Is bytes five used anymore? It is not actually used anymore. Hold on. Why is this calculated if it's never used? It is never used. This is calculated, but it is never used. So byte five. Yeah, it is never used. So this is trash. Let me check. 303 and now yeah, nothing changes here so yeah so that is a redundant instruction there anything else I can do here uh, probably not There wasn't any checksum there. Hold on, let me see. Um, let me see the contents of the bytes. It's no, it's I don't think it is even used for a checksum there because those values just don't make any sense. XOR table and over here it doesn't touch that value, so that is not used there. Hmm. I don't need that. Until proven otherwise, I don't need that. Can I... Yeah, this should match. Okay, now, now I just have to do this all in reverse. So let's see about doing this in reverse. So, bytes... There was actually...
let's mark the exceptions here. So fine. Lives. Oh yeah. Random seed. That is a valid theory. But it's not the case. It is not the case. So bytes zero is number of item seven plus values armor multiply by two plus values shield multiply by eight plus values weapon multiply by thirty two and bytes one is values number of item five plus values what is the time by the way okay but time is one Values number of item four time multiply by four plus values number of um, item two multiply by sixteen and the values number of one item one multiplied by sixty four byte two is values oh yeah, keys. Keys plus values um, lives multiplied by 16 plus values number of item 6 multiplied by 64. Bytes 3 is the keyboard is Fujitsu Siemens. Some kind of Fujitsu. Values 3 is um, This is number of item 3 times 16 plus unknown times 64. And now make the crazy things there. Crazy is that, and by three is added that value. And then that seems pretty straightforward. And then that. Where does byte 4 come from? Oh. And then after that... Yeah, that is a good theory, but the unknown is just in range. It is a two-bit value. It's only one, two, or th uh, no, I mean zero, one, or two, or three. And there are quite more, more level, quite many more levels. Is is there? Yeah. So how does it actually work? Let me stop that and check that again. PHP that unknown is three and here final area uh, let's check area number six first instance unknown is still three and that is missing. 
Okay, these interpretations may be wrong here. This may be like level numbers or something, but the spell list of spells did change there, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So at this point we are back to bites, but we haven't decided bites four and six. I mean four and five yet. So how are these calculated? Does it get byte four? Byte four is um, yeah, it is a possibility. I was also thinking about that. So. But before I go further, I should work by this theory. So byte 5 is XOR with that. Let's just do this. And see if that results in a valid password. So. Those are good questions, people. So high nibble and then low nibble. Yes. So it is car set bytes. Let's try this. Does this password work? Can I actually change the time? No. Style view preferences different color. Oh yeah, there we go. And a little bit bigger, please. Font color. There we go. So try this password. I'm holding tab here because this is so slow, this form here, on reaction, so it's not nice to use otherwise. So I'm turboing, turboing the game. So let's see if this password works. It does not. So first, attempt fail. Let's make some quick verifications here. That should actually work, so my theory here is incomplete. No, I don't drive a bus anymore, I'm a programmer again. Because the company where I was driving bus downsized. So password encoding fail.
Let's try this one. So that should be like so. H M N B K P B G T and G. And it's incorrect. So that didn't work. Hmm. Actually, it should actually give me back the same password. So what is actually differing here? Because it should be giving me what I see here, but it is giving me this. Something is different here. What is different here? Did I enter the wrong pass? Really? Let me try that again. N H M N B K P B G T and G. Try that again. B K. No. No, no, no. How about this one? Let's try that once more. Once more, just in case. So H, um, R, W, L, L, B, P, B, and B. Nope. So that didn't work. What is going on? So the difference is in... Let me see that again. Not there, but this one. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3. So it's byte 3. Byte 3 and the loanable. So we have a difference here either here or or here. Point three. Crazy. Oh yeah, I I think I deleted this part at some point by accident. So let's try that again. So now this should match. But it doesn't match. Huh. Why does it not match? I should be doing... Which part? Game stopped. Stopped playing music here. Mm -hmm. So this should match exactly this, but it doesn't. Do I possibly have a difference here somewhere? Number of item three. That is correct. And this is correct, so there is no difference yet there. Uh, why am I using PHP here? Well, I could use Perl here, or I could use Python here, or possibly something else, but I'm using PHP here because because uh, I'm familiar with PHP. If I would have to do this in Perl or Python, I would have to study that language. With PHP I don't have to study that language, because I already know it. So that's 
the only reason pretty much. Oh yes, thank you Animo. Yeah, this would be plus here. So, are we now in the correct? Now we are in the correct, so this should match. So how about if I set by the 4 into 0? Do I still get a error? Do I still get an error? So let's see. J N H M R W Q G B P T and G. All right. So well, the next step is to set all everything in the values into zero. And see what happens. Try this. Z Z T R K Z Q X B P T J. That works. And then set everything into, say, like three. Three should work for everything, so let's try that. Okay, we got a mistake here. So I think I can pretty much set bytes four and five into anything I want. I think so. So A is that, and bytes is. So, so now let's try this. M X. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> try this. T K J M M D. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. What? Well, at least the game accepted this password. And I have three keys as supposed. Let me see if I do bytes 5 is equal to ff. Let's try that also, just in case that fifth byte is somehow influencing the level selection or something. Because as of now it is not quite used for anything. So let's try that. P M M. Wait, 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 what? No, I did a mistake here. So let's try that again. J J H Q T L P M M and Z Z. Am I just thinking, or am I faster than before? Hold on. Is that normal? No, I don't think there's No, there's no no difference there. Okay, so Hmm. 
So I guess this can be anything I want. Yeah. So, okay, the research is pretty much done here. So the next thing that I normally do at this point is to design my tables here. So how long have I been streaming now? I think I put the stream on at like 8 yeah, 6 p.m. 18, so little under three hours. And the remaining part, which is filling these, is going to be rather boring to watch, I think. Let me try that password just in case I missed take it is mistook something there because if save this is this normal speed and compare to Oh yeah, this is faster. But the only thing that changed here because I did set set things to that much there. Hmm. Let me do that once more, just in case. So I do with a blank password. So that would be this password here. So RK Z P H B P Z Z and save slot 7 and try this and compare to this let me see can I find a fa frame counter here frame counter mm. frame counter Frame counter, frame counter, frame display period. Oh yes, so it begins from here. Does it begin from there as well? Okay, it does. So accelerate from 305 to there, like there. And that should be like 130 frames. So Try this one now. So that which should be 970 like. Something like that. Oh yeah, there's no speed difference. So the difference was in one of these. So once again, these two last bytes don't make a difference. Yeah, score and money are not set by the password. The level number is still unknown, and these are not exactly sure here. Could someone please explain what these actually do? If, um, where was it? This password, I think. Let me, let me see. If I try this once more. J H H J Q T R T M M and Z and uh, Z. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that part. Hmm. 
I forgot about that part. I'm trying to find meaning for this. Bytes 4 changes level. Are you sure about that? Let me see if I do 62. 61 was the last that was permitted. So let me try that. 61 is the last level, is it? Save here. No, I mean save here. And then D K H M Q B L K D Z Z Z. Your code is incorrect. Let me try that again. B, OK, D, Z, Z. Now that's incorrect, so let's try another value. I may have missed the something here. So try this. Q, B, OK. H W Z Z. What? 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 Oh, because I changed A to zero here. Blah. So let's try that again. Once more, txn, txn, h, d, z, z, z. Thank you, thank you, Animo. You are really clever. This is indeed the level number, I think. that might save a little time, but then again, I would need to write that program. So anyone who knows this level, do you know where is this late in the game? Because I don't know this game. Is this late in the game? Let me see. Can I progress actually here? Jumping puzzle. Biscuit plays. Let's play Wizards and Warriors 2. I'm just wanting to check. This is the second last level. Okay, thank you there. So let's try level number 62. Did it work? Hmm. So once more we are here, DK. <laughs> And I'm typoed somewhere. Let's try that again. Okay, so that doesn't work. So 61 is the last you can get. Ah. 
Okay, so byte 5 is still unclear. I don't know what byte 5 does. It may be just an encryption value there, but but when I run the game normally and I use this password screen here, it always gives the same number here. It always gives the same one. Does it? Yes, yes it does. It's always the same one. So I don't know. So in any case, byte 4 is uh, level. Byte 4. Okay, I see. I see Graham, thank you for your explanation. Let's try, just in case, level 59. Level is 59. Um, where did I typo? I typoed here, so this is 59. 59 is like here. So which save? This save. Um, D, D, N, M, D, P, Z, Z. So this is 58, 59. So I would call that a solve. Nice music we have, by the way. But these tables here, I have never so far seen that. Actually, have I really? Let, let me check. Biscuit Simon Quest. And. Um, password. Simon's quest encryption. The password it was um, here. Okay, yeah. Simon's quest still takes the cake. Because Simon's quest has 256 bytes of well, not 256, but pretty close that amount. So, I think Iron Sword is still the second one in amount of data used for the password encryption here. But, I think that is all. What remains here is to make this and then make the narration. But I think I'm so late in the day today that, and it would be really boring to watch my narration, watching me to do, well, this is by, yeah, well, watch me to do the narration and repeat the lines over and over again because I usually try to make them so, so that I don't stutter there. So that would be all for today. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope this was informative. There would be five minutes of time for random questions. If you have random questions, urgent questions in mind for me, I could have take a little questions and answers here in the end of this stream. Let me full screen that. So if anyone has <coughs> questions that I didn't have chance to answer before, let me see here. I don't see anything addressed to Biscuit here that are questions. 
My current job is an embedded programmer at Eteplan. Eteplan is a company that does engineering and things. Book recommendations for what purpose? Weather like in Finland, weather here is like plus 5 degrees Celsius. It really depends whether you are in South Finland or North Finland. In the center of Finland it's... I think it snowed today. In the South Finland we saw a little bit of sleet, but it's... Well, it's not exactly warm, but I think spring will come eventually. How did I learn to program? Well, in 1992 in, in school there was a class where we taught... Where they taught us uh, basic. Let me show you. This kind of thing. So that what they taught us in the school and uh, immediately I really enjoyed learning the basic language and I began doing things and uh, after that I learned quick basic and then I learned Pascal and then I learned C and then I learned C++ and then I went to Linux and uh, I'm still doing C++ basically so every, every time learning things more why I use Joe well, I think I will make a separate edit video about that topic, because it's a long story. But I enjoy using Joe, because it's it's not a bad, bad editor at all. Which uh, theme do I use? Cinnamon? I use, let me see, effects, background, themes, themes. Here you can see... Window borders, Bluebird, icons, default, controls, blue menta, desktop, blue menta, mouse pointer, default. That's pretty much it. When, when I was editing memory values... Oh, this PHP script that I did here... Oh yes, I will... Where was it? Well, in any case, uh, yes, I will release that PHP script. And uh, it will be in the usual place in uh, in uh, either password codex. It will be probably here in my GitHub page. This stream will be archived by YouTube, so there will be a link to this and so on. Yes, I have seen Temple OS, and uh, I'm not really interested about it. And as for the uh, Holy See and Temple thing... Well, you can see my comments about that topic. Let me see... In... Uh, I think it was here. I wrote quite recently... Okay, somewhere there, I wrote a comment about that topic. If you are really interested, you, you can find it out, but I'm not going to spend time now looking for it. I have not tried Sublime Text. I have s went, I have seen the web page and uh, the videos, uh, animations showing some examples how the editor works, but I have not tried it. How has Kuros Kuro not died? Well, I would like to know that as well. He seems to be taking a great deal of hits. Book recommendation for assembly language. Well, to be honest, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I have no assembly books. I have sometimes used reference materials like <coughs> if I want to know how, for example, move SD instruction works on. 86. I just Google it up and find a nice web page like this. And it tells me, okay, now I see what it does. That's how I operate with <coughs> x86 assembly. 
when the 16, 64-bit system was new and I didn't know about it. I was of course really interested to know how it works and uh, let's see if I can find any simple program here. Go up GCC. Well here's what I did for example. I studied the output that a compiler is producing for that processor. So here I'm using GCC and I am telling it to output the assembler language version of the program that, is it, that it is compiling. And then I can study the output and see what kind of language it generates. It's, if you have never done that, I really recommend you do that. It is quite relieving and revealing and eye-opening. So I really recommend that. Where did I put the chart? The chart is over here. Why did I choose this terrible game? Well, that is a good question actually there. Let me show you. Spreadsheets. Not this one. Let me see. Open. Open, open. Ideas for games. Here is my planning sheet. I have linked to this before. This is a Google spreadsheet that shows my plans for this cracking video game password series. As you can see here, there are Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, Gremlins 2 and so on. Episodes that I have already done and you can see how they were requested. Like this was requested by two people here in comments to my episode 3. And uh, Episode 13 here with Asas Warriors Iron Sword. Someone asked it, Busy Betty asked it, and I complied. There's also. Well, I don't answer every every request. I do them in kind of in order that interests me. There, for example, here's Famicom Maniac Manson is requested by two people here, and I may do that someday, but. It's not the first one I'm going to do next. But there is a spreadsheet here that tells my plans. And I have actually in my Twitter page here, I have linked to it at some point. And if you don't follow me on Twitter yet, you should probably follow me. Because even when I don't post anything on YouTube, I do post things on Twitter quite regularly. And they are often related to programming, so you should do that. The link is in the video description. Have I written a debugger once? Actually... Well, it kind of depends. No, I haven't written a useful debugger, but... I have written software for DOS that extracts the symbol table from a program and lists those and helps exploring those, but it doesn't quite count. And it's no longer any use. Because it was tied to us tied to a particular compiler and so on. Are you good at reverse engineering C programs? Well it kinda depends what you want. If I have the source if I have the source code I I can read I can read source code pretty well, but if if I don't have the source code, then I need to have a really good motivation to begin to try to reverse engineer it. So this kind of thing is totally out of question. No, 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 Lars. Lars Akokstad. No, 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 no. And Rebanen. No, 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 no. Anti-piracy protection, I, I don't want to go to that, that turf. In which language NES games was written? Almost always by assembler. There are some exceptions, but companies are not really forthcoming on that, those details. But it is my impression that nearly always they were written in assembler. Maybe some in-house tools for macros and things like that. 
Does everyone in Finland listen to metal? Well, I don't. I am a I'm in Finland and I don't. So, there's your answer. How can I le learn the basics, totally basics of programming? Let me suggest to you Hour of Code. Hour of Code, I think Cross just died here. No, he didn't. Hour of Code is uh, start learning. Well, I'm not going to explore the website for you now here, but go there and study it. It's, it's useful if you are totally new to programming and don't know anything about it. Any chance of making a DOS 101 video for you as, as Unix and Windows users? Not really. I'm not going to te teach DOS because DOS is pretty much a dead end. I use DOSBox sometimes in my... Game over there. I use DOSBox sometimes in my videos because of video production reasons, but it's not something I'd use otherwise. Why did I become a bus driver if I'm so well versed in programming? Yes, I have told that story. You can find it in the comments if you explore enough. Do I have a degree? If so, what was my major? No, I have not studied in that kind of school, so... No, I don't have. Ness Frankenstein. Actually, if you have some ideas, recommendations, wishes for next episodes of Cracking Video Game Password series, I don't promise I will do them, but you better post them in the video comments, because this chat here is going to disappear when the stream is over, so everything you say here is going to be pretty much lost. Sorry about that, nothing I can do about that. The NES doesn't have a C compiler yet. Well, it actually kinda does. There's uh, CC65 which can compile for NES. It's not really good though, and I, will not, I wouldn't recommend it. I did not write my summer car, but it's kinda in the same spirit. I would like to make a bus driving game that uses some of the same concepts. So, I have never, never played my summer car, but I have watched Let's Play so Let's Plays of that game and I quite enjoy them. Have I designed a PCB? No. <coughs> if your fans would create games with password systems or other similar things to be reverse engineered, would you do them? If I had infinite time, yes. But I don't have infinite time, sorry about that. The thing is, you, ca you would always prioritize Mega Man over anything else, because it's the best games. As for the ba passwords for Mega Man games, I'm, I think I'm already, already done there. I could do episodes of Mega Man 5 and Mega Man 6, but... I don't know. Yes, I am Finnish. I am Suomalainen, kyllä vaan. Crazy bus? No, I haven't. And I would actually combine some things from Euro Truck Simulator 2 and uh, City Skylines and... Uh, well, the ideas are endless. But of course, the time and energy to do things are not so endless. Thank you, Xamexer. Does it take a lot of work to maintain your beard? No, not really. I I never cut this, so this is as long as it grows, and I just let it grow as as it is. Yes, I am finished again. I am finished. Did you try to make something complicated from scratch? Oh, so many times. Have you seen the taskbot and the arbitrary code execution? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. In case you didn't know, I used to ma maintain this website task videos at some time. You can read about it in the site history. So I 
do know pretty much everything about Tassis. Have you hacked on any AAA games? No, I haven't. Anything else I missed here? Metroid is already on that spreadsheet. Do you know anything about the cell about the cell B CPU in the PS3? No, I don't really know much if anything about PS3. It's too new a console for me. Oh you meant that? No, I don't think so. Scratch at you. Oh yeah that well, nothing useful at least. Yeah, okay, thank you. Can you make a make file for your tiny print of uh, compilation crashes? Compilation crashes? Huh? Um, let me see. Tiny print, no, not there. Tiny print. This one, print c dot cc. Works just fine. You do need to define a write function, or actually not write function, but uh, this. You need to change this part before compiling it. As detailed in the instructions. If a game presents potential to do arbitrary code execution through the password engine, would you exercise that potential? Possibly. Possibly. What are my favorite tasks? Oh man. Sorry, pass. Too much time to think. Any plans of doing more Star Control 2 task speedrun goodness. Not currently planning to, but I haven't abandoned it. What about writing NES emulator bots, Bomberman? I have actually done botting on NES, but I think bots should be probably made with artificial neural networks, like deep learning and stuff, and I haven't when gone into that yet. Window manager is cinnamon. No, I don't. And actually, hold on. What would you recommend for someone who wants to study assembler at C? Uh, it really, decom really depends on where you are currently. What are your experiences so far? How much you know? What advice would you give to someone who wants to think like a debugger, reverse engineering programmer? Oh. I don't really know, because usually, in my opinion, that is kind of pursuit driven. It is a purpose driven. Uh, you have a goal in your mind, you want to do this, and then you figure out how to do that. It's not the other way around. You want to figure out how to do something, and then what to use it for? Oh. What are the plans for your channel now that now on this is now that you have a job? I don't think that plans have much changed. I did <coughs> Excuse me, I did recently do, in case you didn't know, I did make a, a different channel. This is channel Biscuit. I have a Biscuit Gaming here, so my gaming videos are split on a different channel. They are not on my main channel anymore. And also I have a Bible channel, but it doesn't have any videos yet. So I have made this kind of rearrangement. Re Rearrangement there, but 
Other than that, I don't have contents wise any any plans to much much make changes. Well, thank you, X Keeper. There, <coughs> you are a little late. That would have been easy, nice to have earlier. Yeah, that could help help later. Have you seen the third, the third person for third, three D first person nest thing? Um, automatic. I don't think I have seen an automatic thing. Do you care about free software on a scale? From zero to Ricard Stallman, how much? Well, let's say I I do follow things like this Reddit here, so maybe that's your answer there. And also, I wonder whether this site site still works. No, it doesn't. Fresh meat. It used to be called Freshmeat.net, but uh, free code, okay. Long time ago I used to frequent to this site and download things for fun and read source code. And that's actually how I got good at reading source code. And I really enjoyed it. So I'm not so politic person about free software, but but it's an important thing. I do recognize the value. I am a 38, I think. I think 38. What is your favorite programming language? C++, I think. Where did you learn all this? Pass. Have you tried learn fun, play fun? No, I haven't. Why no Bible videos? And do you like... Why no Bible videos? I'm planning to make them, but they are going to be on the separate channel. I have no idea what those are. Some kind of cheap, cheap tune, probably, but I haven't listened to. Yeah, it's a long five minutes. My five minutes, maybe 50 minutes. You like salamiaki? Um, it really depends. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, thank you, everybody. What do what to do learn in programming after you know how to use loops, functions, etc., etc., basic stuff? Start applying them. Create software. Do things. Why do you use app? It just happens to be what I installed there. Sometimes you, I use uplock. Have you used microcontrollers <laughs> like this? Yes, I have. Do you like sausage? Well, I don't eat, eat pork anymore, so that kind of limits my choices. Okay, I, I think the questions went down a little bit, so I'm calling it quits for today. So. Hey everyone, thank you for watching, and see you next time, have a nice day! Hey guys, what are you still doing there? The stream ended. <coughs>